everybody. I got new wheels. As you can tell by the title of the video, I got new wheels. Um, I didn't think I was gonna buy wheels. Um, they're not exactly the wheels when I when it was time for me to buy cool wheels. Not exactly the wheel that I wanted to buy, but they are like top three, three, one of the three options that I wanted for whenever I was gonna get cool wheels for my car. Um, so yeah, they popped up. The other ones that I really wanted um, wouldn't pop up. They were um, Grenade GX1s, GX01s. Yeah, I couldn't find any of those. Really wanted some 17 by nine plus 30. But then these popped up and they are kind of, I'm not gonna even say similar because then some like crazy wheel freak out there is gonna be like, they're completely different. But um, anyways, I'm so excited. I don't even know. I didn't even know how to start this video. Um, I don't even know what else I should say, but yeah, we got no wheels. So let's go downstairs. Let's unbox them. Grab my slippers real quick. Ta-da! As you can tell, I, I opened up one. I was so excited. I couldn't contain myself. I had to see one. But I waited to open up the rest so I could film the video for you guys. A little background story. I got these. They came from Japan, but before... Or they came from Cali. Before Cali, they were in Japan. So, yeah. I guess that spoils it a little bit. But I'm going to give you guys some time to guess in the comments. Take 10 seconds and guess what wheel you think it is. All right, all guesses are in. Yeah, let's unbox them. Model 5s, 17 by 9, a pair is plus 22, and then another pair is plus 23. So yeah, I spoke with a couple people and they said that I'd be okay for now, um, fitment wise on these. I'm still gonna decide if I need to do a redrill or if I'm gonna run adapters, but that's for later on in the video. So definitely wider than my wheels now, so definitely not gonna be on 205s anymore. So this is the 17 by 9 plus 35 says it's somewhere in there. Those are the plus 22s. This is the plus 35s. I don't exactly know how I feel about the red caps. They're okay for now. It kind of matches the seat that I have and the gloves I wear and everything. But back to them not being perfect. I don't really mind that because I think that if they were too perfect and I paid like way too much for the perfect wheels, I'd probably be scared to drift on them. And that is the goal with these. I'm still going to drift on these. I don't know about the rear yet, but definitely I'm going to keep the fronts. You can see that there's there's some, like, I guess like uh, gashes or little dents in here, but it's not bad. It's nothing that I'm too worried about. I don't really know exactly what all this is from, but um, it looks fine to me. This here might be the crack. Nah, that's not it. See here, it kind of looks like they kind of grinded that, so... That may be where it was welded, but see these, see this barrel's good. That kind of looks right there. That kind of looks, that might been a, a crack there. And they repaired that, but that right there too. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but. So yeah, guys, those are the wheels. Finally, 
day has come. Um, I don't, I've been so busy that haven't even got to test fit these wheels. So finally, today, we're finally test fitting these on the car. So I've talked to a few people and I'm a little worried that they're gonna poke out too much if I try to run an adapter. I'm gonna have to use too much camber and I'm just not gonna have enough grip in the rear. So I think for right now, I'm leaning more towards doing, um, swapping out my hubs for five by 114. Anyways, let's go to the car and let's throw these on. So I just had on the plus 20, the plus 35s on the front, but I'm actually going to run the plus 22s in the front because they're more aggressive and in the rear, if you know about E36s, you know, it's kind of hard to fit a big wheel on the stock body in the rear. They don't really fit much. So I already thought that the, the plus 35s were poking out a good bit, but they're definitely gonna poke out with the plus 22s um, and this is without an adapter here so keep in mind anything you see it would actually if I ran adapters it would actually stick out like 14 to 15 millimeters more so let me throw these on so Definitely gonna have to put more camber. I think I'm at like negative four right now So maybe I could do like negative six. I don't really want to do more than negative six in the front That's pretty much where we're at. I definitely don't think that Running adapters is gonna help me at all. I think it's gonna make it much worse I think I could you know kind of finesse it to be good at this point, you know cuz the, the tire is gonna stretch a little bit It's definitely gonna poke out. I Think this is gonna have to be the way Let's move on to the back now. thought okay so the rear fit a whole lot nicer um this is the plus 35 in the rear and i think i was at like negative one degree camber with the style 66s and i mean it looks like it fits good i was really worried about the rear but now the only thing is if i were to run the adapter it would stick out a little bit further and that's why i kind of think i'm leaning towards the um changing out the hubs so that way I can have this kind of fitment, you know? But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, any of you fitment gurus out there that watch this video um, and want to give me any pointers, should I do the hubs? I've watched some videos on it, so I know it's like not the easiest job, but um, if anybody wants to give me pointers in the comments and let me know, should I do the adapters or should I go ahead and change out the hub for the uh, dual drilled or whatever. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like um, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Let's go. Let's go. On go. Fuck around, I don't. This Glock, this stick on go. It's one up top. I drift them cones, I bend them blocks. You know I catch my eyes. No pop.